Welcome to another episode of Nerd, Nerd Out. Out! I'm Randy, this is Brian, and this is the head of Darth Vader. Well, the helmet. The helmet. That'd, That'd be, be sweet right. if we had Anakin in there, but... Man, yeah. uh, so this is, explain this to me, like, you, this is, this seems like something out of our normal, uh, realm, but that's what I like about but it This so is off the, no, off the norm of anybody. This yeah. is a Star Wars Black Series Darth Vader helmet. So it's made by Hasbro. It's Hasbro. I believe... I got it at Warp Nine, and I paid like 130 bucks okay. for it. All right. I think it the retail's 100. I don't know. If I, mean, I paid 200, I wouldn't give a shit. Like I'd be fine with it. Okay, look, going back in time, like when I think of like um, cosplay uniforms and costumes, uh -huh. I think of the old Ben Cooper shit. Yeah. And it was pretty like it was kind of neat for its time, but yeah. it was never like. It was never like this is the. Like, do you remember Don Post? Video? Don Post. Don yeah. Post. There was Don Post. Like, this was, the, the yeah. Don Post was $150 yes. back then. And that was, like, two decades ago, right? Yeah, and, and it was, Don like, Post. that, I think it was, like, three decades. Yeah, I think it, it was, was two. It was, yeah, like, it was the day of the, like, I remember the, yeah. uh, when, when we worked at the sci-fi shop, like, we had a, we had mm -hmm. a assortment of Don Post uh, masks. Like, they were the master licenses of yep. it. And they were cool in their day, but, I mean, so then you had a bunch of, like, rubies would do yes, a Vader helmet right. and and they look pretty good i mean like actually they look very good but they were the like house. they were like 300 right they or were, no they had the efx was was 300 the rubies they had a different ver different tiers mm -hmm. of it but their least expensive was about 180 okay and it's about this size so this is like the cheapest out of all of them and i'm not an absolute mm -hmm. authority but this looks damn good on a shelf. I mean, absolutely. Like, I'm not a cosplay master. Actually, yeah. the, only, the closest thing I've ever done with the cosplay is for Halloween. Um, my wife made us Tron Legacy costumes, and that was fun. But we didn't take it to a show or anything. Like yeah. today, like cosplay is like is like huge. It's like that's yep. what people go to. The it's thing. a thing. Yeah, absolutely. it's a thing. So when Hasbro, Hasbro did the Marvel, they did a, a Captain America shield and an Iron Man. Yeah, home. That all was that, supposed to be really nice. Yeah, that shit's crazy. I love that they're doing that. That and is it, awesome. Yeah, and it's like, like this. Yeah, show this some shit. Man. Okay, show like, it up, man. Oh. You get that. Yeah. So it's like <laughs> you get the whole interior. Uh, how 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 accurate? Look, can I see that part? Yeah, yeah. How accurate do you think it is scale wise? It can't be because like I think it's a little bit undersized. Because because David what? Prowse must have been like seven foot tall with, with everything on. Yeah, I mean it's a it's little bit hair. undersized, but it's perfect enough that it looks. I think it. It's it, built it for an adult, right? Yeah, yeah, and it like does this shit. I mean, that's, how cool, and you get the whole inside of it. I mean, that's what blows my mind is the interior of it. Yeah, it's, it's so detailed. Yeah, it's got everything in there. It just should be red when you look out. Like, oh yeah. Not really, but it, it, I just think like in episode three when yeah, they showed yeah, yeah. put it on. Why did they not put the red tint? The red tint was okay. New Hope only. New this Hope. Is Empire, uh, this is Return of the Jedi, and okay. they left out the the asymmetrical like gray right. there and there. But who gives a shit? You know what? That's really mind blowing though to think about that it was asymmetrical. Like if you mm. look at pictures of the Darth Vader helmet, it really is like it is off. That's awesome. But I think it was supposed to look black, but they just did it to bring detail out and like low light or oh. something to, to build up contrast. But it's heavyweight. Like I did put it on. Oh my god, I feel I feel like the Darth Vader enters nerd out. <laughs> you picking your nose? Like, dude, what are you trying to I don't know where it was. Here, it's like all oh, oh. Yeah. Dude, I would make a sweet, like, little Darth Vader. It's Lord Helmet! Can I do like Lord Helmet? That is so badass. And I did notice that like uh, you know, I, I don't think that I don't think my physique is built for Darth Vader. Maybe more yeah. closer to Nin Num. So uh, you know, so I mean, hey, at least you're not an Ugnaught. You know? I mean, that's, I'm not. Anything's I'm not better quite, than an Ugnaught. Yeah, or a, or an Ewok. I'm not quite yeah. Ewok. I figured Num Nin, Nin Num looked like he was like about five seven, five eight. He yeah. was he was a pilot. Um, I I gotta be honest for like one thirty. Let's say it is really impressive. Now, obviously, you're going to be, if you're going to buy this, you're going to be a different level of, you're, you're probably going to take it to cosplay type thing. Like, I mean, I'll never I don't know. put it on. Okay, I put it right. on once and just Instagram the picture. You're like, telling me you didn't run around your house with this on? It's for like a minute, but it gets really hard to breathe in it, and I don't like masks. Like, it makes me feel real, like, 
closed in and stuff. But you bought this. Oh, did you buy this more for like a display? Just to put piece? on my shelf, I have Darth Vader's mask. Yeah, I mean. That's interesting. You well, know, yeah, what? it's comfortable. I mean, if yeah. you uh, if helmets don't bother you, I mean, go with it. They, it's cool. They, they always bothered me too. Like when I was a kid, like for trick or treating, again, they made those Ben Cooper masks. Where were those? They were made out of um, what were they made out of? Like that thin plastic, like where it would crack. You know what I'm talking about? Oh God, about? yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember, yeah. like, m my mom and was mostly like, "Hey, look, we need to create your own costume." So I and didn't, but I think I remember. My brother having an Incredible Hulk uh, Ben Cooper costume. Okay. And I, I remember that's what they were called was Ben Cooper. Ben Cooper was the yep. company. Yeah, actually, they pretty much, I think they're still around. I, correct me if I'm wrong, but they literally made every single Halloween costume from like 1974 on. But I remember like, I remember it does, it, it does feel uncomfortable to wear a mask, but. And especially this, if you wore it for 10 minutes. Oh, man. I think you freak out. What if you wore this to, a, yeah, if you wore this to a con, you probably. Oh, I think most that's heavy. people. Yeah, I, I think most people that wear them, they they uh, have fans built into them. Really, a lot of people do. Yeah, and they have like the voice. They have like a voice changer. Yeah, and and I I, I nerded out and I was watching people that dress up as Vader. Yeah, I just yeah. got into it for a little bit, and um. Like they have like like they'll have a speaker mm -hmm. here and they'll have pre oh. pre programmed stuff to say. That is surprising cool. that this doesn't have a voice changer because didn't they come out with a Darth Vader helmet uh, a couple years ago that I had think, that? But they don't. But it was a piece of it's shit. It's like all you do is you toy. hear a voice echoing in a helmet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. The coolest. The, the coolest um, helmets I've ever seen made was is there's a group and I and I and I can't shout out your group because I don't remember but it was a group of uh, Power Ranger fans and they would custom make their own Power Ranger helmets but they weren't just like Power Ranger helmets they created their own character they made yeah okay it was non-canon right was just, right they came up with and cool I thought stuff. that was the coolest nerdiest thing I've ever seen because mm -hmm. I talked to a couple, these two guys. And they're like, what well, we created our own character, we built our own helmet out of fiberglass, and like these are our characters. Like that's the ultimate role play. How old were they? Uh, I would say they're about eighteen to twenty four. Okay. So that's you know, okay. that's the right age. Yeah. But like I get it. Like I'm not a cosplayer, but I get the need for escape. It yeah, I could get into it. I think if I were younger, mm -hmm. like if I were like say, Why why would you need to be younger? Just you think just because that's when my interest in it, I like see. most of the things I'm into now, I, I, mm -hmm. it's, that interest was sparked I when I was young. Makes sense. But with all the shit that's out now, mm -hmm. it would just be. I think I, I think I could okay. get into it. If you were to cosplay, would you create your own character or would you go as somebody? Probably both. Yeah. I think Who I would, would you go? I think I would do Boba Fett, Django mm -hmm. Fett. I couldn't do Dark Vader. No, because mm -hmm. you've got to be tall to be Vader. Uh, I, I think Boba Fett would work. You're about yeah. the height for Boba Fett. Uh, I think Wolverine would be my only option, but I'm not big enough for Wolverine. It's just that he, like that doesn't stop those guys. They go work it's out true. for shit. Man. I would. It's amazing dude, what these people do to put up. I mean, it's like wow. I think it would be really fun to create your own character and like go cosplay. Like like I said, like uh, Stacy made these Tron Legacy costumes, and I got to be honest with you. Like I'm sure I looked like you know. A, a dad in a Tron Legacy costume, but I really it was fun. It was a lot of fun. It felt good. Plus, you know the skin tight outfit. I just love. I love the feeling. Yeah, dude, you that. love that. Man. I do. Yeah, I don't that's why, awesome. Man. I, I just oh. do. Yeah. Um, but uh, look, if you, uh, I think this is not okay. So the sounds are just. It's on the button. Yeah. Um. Here, where is it? Right there. Sounds good. So it does that if you separate it? Here. Okay. I forgot. I totally forgot. This is if great. If you separate it, it makes that noise. Now, it's, oh, like in a dying. Oh my god. Like what else do you want it to do? The, unless you voice change it, there's nothing else you yeah, want. Yeah, it, it's super magnetic. It's got these cool wires chilling here. Yeah, I mean, and if you were a custom guy, I don't oh, even want to think it a about a little, little bit of a wash in yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, you could do some crazy shit, man. If you are, if you are, I love this thing. If you are at least six foot four, and you could get away with Vader, yeah. I, I, this gets a highest recommendation. Or if you just want a cool fucking helmet, you it, know, it, just <laughs> like this. I got it as a display uh -huh. piece, and just to show people, like, I mean, it's like it is awesome. Like it's a toy, but this is straight up. You can play with it. 
handle it. You don't have to worry about fucking it up. For it's... all you detox guys, you yeah. can just stick this. Well, you wouldn't want it behind uh, glass. Yeah, I want it. Well, actually, you sort of would because it's a dust. Oh, bag. I bet it is. And, and scratch is easy. Yeah, mine's all. I had to. I polished mine with McGuire's. It did work. Very. Thank you. Car what? polish. Really? Little, and it doesn't scratch it up at all? No, it actually made it a little better because the first thing I did was drop it and put a scratch in it. So, oh, man. Yeah, in the kitchen. But, and, and the top is magnetic, too. So it's just like... There's something powerful about putting a Darth Vader helmet on. That is so badass. Pretty sweet, huh? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, it's just... I think, I think Darth Vader, as far as... Uh, as far as masked characters, is there is there any more intimidating looking? Uh, Clytus. Clytus. I'll give you that. Yeah. Uh, other other than that, like um, I'm trying, I'm going through like masked characters, and I can't think of anything as intimidating as Darth Vader. No like, man. The Emperor's Royal Guard has an intimidation to it, but because it's you the know, same franchise though. But that's what I loved true. about Star Wars is the masks. Yeah, me too. I do. All the I shit do. you didn't see was so Storm cool. Stormtrooper. Stormtrooper. The mystery. That's why I hated um, in Episode Two when they created the whole Boba Fett story because the whole mystique about Boba Fett was that mm. you didn't know what the fuck was behind that mask. And, yeah. and sometimes sometimes mystery, and that's why I'm so apprehensive about Han Solo, is because it's the things I don't know that gets me so excited about that character. What do you think about Solo? I think it's going to be a fun ride, uh, but I think, and, and this is purely just on speculation, I think the kid who's going to play Han Solo is going to really fucking suck. And I think it's not because he's, because he's not really caring, because I really do think that guy, I mean, if you've got to give a he shit, gives I'm so sure much, he gives yeah, a shit, which I really is why do, he's going to mess it exactly, up. Exactly. Because Harrison he, Ford didn't. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, that's a, that's a good point. Like Harrison, like part of Han Solo's character is that he conveys that he doesn't give a shit and it really does come off on camera. Whereas like, I think this kid, you know, he's going to want, he's got so much pressure on him. Look, no one can fill that bill. I mean, that's tough. Yeah, I mean, you're Han Solo. Right. But you're Han uh, yeah. You're yeah, Han Solo. But if you... That would suck. If Han Solo, the character, doesn't work, the whole movie doesn't work. Yeah. And that's a lot of pressure. Um, with that said, I think it's going to be fun, but I think it's going to... It's going to explain all those little things that you heard about in the other movies that yeah. you might have been curious about, but it's better sometimes to be curious than to have the answers. Well, I'm with you, and you know, I don't even know. Let's just say okay. I could... Get Harrison Ford from a time machine mm -hmm. and get him okay. the right age to be in this movie. I still wouldn't want Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't even know if I'd like that. Me neither. Like, I don't even care if the guy looks a little different. Or, but I just... Again, I think sometimes knowing too much about a story ruins the story. Like, yep. it's it's like, I like... And I just think they're going to wimp out his character. I mean, I... Like, How so? Like, make it... Like, make maybe, him too good. Maybe a girl, like, hurt his feelings, and therefore he became, like, well, I could or something. That, but, <laughs> but, like, I couldn't live with him as not the guy that shot Greedo first. He's I gotta agree. He's got to be a little cold-blooded. I mean, he's, like, cool. I mean, he can... He, he's truly not necessarily... He doesn't he wasn't become a good, a good guy. guy right. until, he wasn't a good guy until the end of episode four. That's, like... Why you were so excited and goosebumps because he's a smuggler. Right. He's sort of a scumbag. That's why at the end of New Hope, when he brings the Millennium Falcon back to help Luke, you're like, yeah, the he guy. He came around. He came he, around. Yeah, you know, we made a change, which was I so agree. good. I agree. Uh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna go see it. I'm gonna be see it opening night. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give it all I can as far as hopes. But I honestly would rather go see things going forward than to go back all the time. Uh, and that's just always my opinion on, on everything. You yeah, know? I, I mean, I'm ready. I like Ron Howard. I did too. You know, I mean, ever since I like some of his stuff. I like his big budget stuff. You, yeah, you know what? I like him. I really yeah. don't like his movies, though. Like, I think he's the coolest dude. But his movies are so yeah. uh, vanilla. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but his movies always end up being very vanilla. Like, yeah, he plays it, he's a, he plays it safe. Right. But he does it. But, but you know he's what I mean? He's a professional. Maybe that's what they sort of need. I mm. think that's what Star Wars needs. Is someone who just like you got to take chances writing it, but yes. not making it. You know, just make a mm. Star Wars movie. A little bit of fan service, give right. people what they want, and maybe they're gonna do it. Maybe they're not. You what know? What might be good news for you on that front is I think the those two guys uh, who did the Lego Movie who were originally in yeah. it. I think the majority of their script is still the script, which which will. 
Which would be more adventurous than what Ron Howard would probably do. So, I mean, that's... But did Ron Howard even have a say in the script? Not really. Did I, he just came in I, I and... think he came in and did business. Like, I think uh -huh. he just... He said, okay, this is how we're going to do it. Everyone, you respect me. I will respect you. I'm going to put fun into this and let's finish this Because they hired... They fired those other guys because they were too freewheeling it. Yeah, right? I think so. Like, oh, I improvise. I, I think they didn't know... An, I Again, speculation, but I think they didn't quite... They weren't as professional as they needed to be. You know, they didn't know how to get the actors. They, they weren't as organized as need to be to, to do a Star Wars. Was that the first time they had dealt with like non-voice actors? Pretty much. I mean, because the Lego Movie they never did live action before. No, there's like ten minutes in the Lego Movie of live action, and I think it's a very different mm. thing to be able to do oh. animation and to do uh, live action. Probably way different. Yeah. I'm optimistic, uh, but um, I think it's going to be fun. It's just my whole point is I don't want to know more about Han Solo. I don't. I really don't. And, and and I know that sounds stupid, but I really like knowing Han Solo as the scoundrel that I know Han Solo to be. Do you think the movie sounds like you're gonna learn anything new, or they're just gonna rehash what we already know? I think they're gonna re. I think they're gonna rehash and and they're gonna flesh out things that we already know. They're gonna flesh out the Kessel Run. We're gonna know about the Kessel mm. Run, but I don't need to know about the Kessel Run. The only thing I need to know about the Kessel Run is that Han Solo did it in twelve. Parasets. Not 14. Yeah, yeah, not 14. Like, But they're going to flesh that out. They're going to flesh out some other stuff. But with that said, um, I think still... Think we'll see Obi-Wan in it? No. If okay. we did, it wouldn't make sense. It, oh, uh, how... how Unless he's in... Because Obi Obi-Wan was a hermit at that point, right? Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, you, I wonder... Uh, do you think we'll see Vader? I heard Vader makes ooh. a cameo. How... Do you think that that would be uh, shrinking the universe too much by putting Vader in it? If he comes in contact with Hansel, yes. But, I mean, if it has an empire mm. in it, I mean... Uh, I mean, we're definitely going to see Jabba, right? I think so. We're definitely so. going to see Boba Fett. Might even see an IG-88 and a Dengar, too. Like, I think they're... I, what about Boba Fett? Uh, I mean, like, they're yeah. shrinking the universe anyway. Why I guess, not put in a fan favorite, uh, you they're, know? They're going to, and, and, I, and I guess if you're going to do a Han Solo movie, it absolutely makes sense to put Boba Fett in it, but... Um, I'm open-minded. I, I, I like I like fun space adventures. I'm a snob, but I'm not too much of a snob, you know. Like I, I'll uh, I'll do my best to enjoy it, and uh, that's it on that. But uh, yeah, this Darth Vader helmet is awesome. Uh, One thirty, you said. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it's worth every cent, especially if you just want something that just like display piece i mean that's what i got it for yeah it's cool you can put it on you got to get a lightsaber like, hilt right yeah no no i didn't go get the uh, artifacts question lightsaber. about the artifacts can you remove the blade from the uh the not hilt? on the not on the like official ones but there's a bunch of boys on ebay mm -hmm. and all around that make they make them better oh, okay that, and you can separate okay because that would be awesome to put in a, if you're gonna showcase this to have the showcase with the with the hilt that would be amazing it's great. I love it. Uh, it makes me kind of want to do a cosplay. I'm thinking about... Uh, you could do Boba Fett. I could probably put off Boba Fett. I got yeah. I got to tone up a little bit. I'm I'm getting that winter gut. Yeah, but he's got a lot of armor. He I does. Mean, you don't have to be like you could be. You could do Boba Fett. You could do. Um, who you could do anybody yeah. except Vader? I mean, except for only Vader, and Chewie, and probably Chewie. could pull off Chewie. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I could do a Han Solo. And, uh, well, obviously Luke Skywalker, you know what Luke Skywalker looks like, and he doesn't look like a, a Middle Eastern, like, you know, ethnic-looking dude. So I'm ca I can't pull off Luke Skywalker either. Um, but that's okay. Um, Luke Skywalker's always here with me. Um, if you, uh, who, who, this is Hasbro. Hasbro, uh, good job. Yeah, and uh, thank you. Thank you. And with that said, by the way, I just want to let you know that uh, I did order the sail barge. I did yeah. it. I did it. I'm I excited. Did it. That, we, I did we got it. a year, right? Yeah, we got a year, and uh, and and uh, you will be there for that one. Yeah, I'll be barge. on that. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. going to be nuts. I had to do it. I had to support the sail barge. I yeah. mean, how could you not? I was a little pissed that they made it a pre-order and didn't just release. I get it. I how, get it. How, a, with, with a four-foot-long $500 item, how else would you just, do you think? They that, did it with that stupid ad at that nobody bought for two hundred and fifty dollars. The big one from from Rogue One. Oh yeah, because they released yeah. crap that nobody wants. Yeah. And they just stuck to releasing what people want. Yeah, and not try and tell me what they want mm. to sell me. 
I think well, it could be out. The, the great thing about the avenue of this Kickstarter type HasLab thing is they can test the markets and see if people, if consumers people would want actually it. do it. And if they do, then they can go forward with that. So that's a good way for them to really, really, really try to understand what, what the collectors want. Because I, yeah. with Toys R Us closing and, and the markets narrowing in, it, it really is a good way to like, I want to see that made. I'm going to support you that. You have to pay for shipping. Yeah, it was twenty nine dollars. So okay. it's like if you're gonna be dropping five. Yeah, what's the know, difference? What's the twenty nine dollars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I'm excited about it. Uh, if they're smart, and I and I have to imagine they are, they're gonna be pumping out some some uh, Jabba's characters this next year. They it, should have like packs. Yeah, abs absolutely. Where you like six packs? Yes. Or, like Jabba's goons. Yes. Cause I, if I have to go back and buy like, like I think the week way goes for yeah. like 40, 50 bucks. If I got to go back and, and spend that kind of money on a week way, I'm going to start getting pissed off. The build a figure. They should do build a figure for little guys awesome. and make it the little skiff. Parts of the little skiff. That would be cool. Cause you're going to have to have that. I mean, cause yeah. most, a lot of stuff like or, that's where Luke jumps. That would be cool. All I got to say is I better get a primo new Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight. Do you think you will? I think I, I think will, but will. I think that they're gonna half-ass it. I think they're like I want to see the cloak, not cloth on him. I want like a, the plastic sculpted cloak. Well, would I you want, want good it in hair. a neutral hang, or would you want it like in like like it's blowing? Like, uh, I want nothing blowing. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I, I hate, I need, when, stuff I hate when I don't. I don't like when figures have uh, expressive mouths. I don't want hair blowing. Me in the too. Wind. I like them neutral. Yeah, absolutely. With a little bit of posability. Well, actually, a lot of a lot of posability. But sometimes they're yeah. too posable, and they like. I agree, especially Star Wars. Right. Yeah. I, I think I think they got a little carried away with Star Wars, and they over articulated everything, and it just didn't need to happen. Mm -hmm. Um, there's there's a good middle ground, and uh, I'm just happy they're bringing back three and three fourth inch because for Star Wars, that's that's the way. That's it's where it lives. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why they're trying so hard to get away from it. Yeah, I don't either. I think it was just the trends were changing, but they yeah. hopefully hopefully they change back. Um, yeah, so please subscribe, check us out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and until next time, nerd out. <laughs> Are you picking your nose? Like, dude, what are you trying to... I don't know where I was.